Today we'll be taking a look at the Eisenhower Matrix, which is brand new functionality within TickTick, the task management app. The Eisenhower Matrix is a great way to get organized to make sure that the work you're doing is important, not just urgent. Today we'll be taking a look at how to turn on the Eisenhower Matrix functionality within TickTick. How exactly are the tasks filtered into the four separate quadrants? And how can we maintain those tasks within the Eisenhower Matrix view? Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so to get started today, I'm logged into the web application because I'm gonna demonstrate the new Eisenhower Matrix functionality within TickTick. Uh, that's not available in the Windows application yet. It is available on Android and also on the uh, web application. So in the web app, to turn on the new functionality, you will have to go to your profile picture and then the settings menu. Within settings, uh, it will probably bring you to the preferences section. And then under preferences is the features subsection. And so the first one there is the Eisenhower matrix. You can see it's turned off right now. If I click on uh, the button, it turns it on. I'll go ahead and hit the done button. The web application will reload. So one of the things you'll notice is uh, over on the left side, there's a new icon and it's called the Eisenhower matrix. So if I click on that, this is gonna bring us to a new view, which we have not yet seen before. And so this is pretty cool. And it might be a little confusing if you have not seen an Eisenhower matrix before, but I'll go through it. Um, so let's start in the upper left quadrant. So they call that the first quadrant and it's titled urgent and important. And so what that means in tick tick is that's gonna be anything that we have set a priority of red or orange on. So meaning it's, it's uh, important. We've set a high priority on it. And it also has a due date of today or tomorrow, meaning it is urgent. We need to do that either today or tomorrow. So that's the first quadrant. It takes into account both the priority and the due date. The second quadrant is on the upper right side. It's called not urgent and important. So these are things that we have set a high priority on, either a red or orange but we either have no date, no due date set or the due date is, is far enough into the future um, that it's deemed not urgent. So we don't necessarily need to do it today or tomorrow, uh, but we do have a high priority set on it. So it is important to us. The third quadrant is down in the lower left. It's titled urgent and unimportant. So these are things that have a due date of today or tomorrow. Uh, but they're kind of unimportant. We don't have a high priority set on them. So either it's a blue priority or it's no priority set on those. Uh, the final quadrant is the fourth quadrant in the lower right corner. It's titled not urgent and unimportant. And so these are going to be the things that basically have no due date set or a due date way in the future. And also they have no priority set on them or possibly a blue priority set on them. So one of the things that might be confusing about the way that TickTick -Tick implements the Eisenhower matrix is you might be confused on what exactly is considered urgent and important and what exactly does TickTick -Tick consider not urgent and unimportant? Is there a way for me to find out um, how it's filtering these specific tasks into those quadrants? And the answer is yes. So if you go up to the three dots that are in the upper right corner, of of a particular quadrant. So I'm going to look at urgent and important. I click on the three dots and I click the edit option. It's going to bring up a filter screen. And so that filter screen shows me exactly what uh, tasks are being filtered in here. So it's looking at all lists. It's looking at all tags. The due date has to either be today or tomorrow. And the priority has to either be high or medium. So that's what TickTick -Tick considers um, urgent and important. Uh, let's take a look at not urgent and unimportant. So if we go to the three dots in the upper right, we hit the edit edit option. Again, it's looking at all lists and all tags, but for the due date this time, it's looking at no due dates or two days or later. And for the priority, it's looking at either it has a low or blue priority or no priority is set on it. So that's the way that you can tell what tasks are being filtered into which quadrant. 
So one of the other things you can do in the Eisenhower matrix is you can actually maintain your tasks directly in this view. So let's say I'm looking through my not urgent and unimportant tasks. And one of the things I realize is go, go grocery shopping. Um, I'm actually short on food and I need to make that a little more uh, urgent. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna click the today icon. And you'll see right away it moves it from not urgent and unimportant over to urgent and unimportant. Uh, because I didn't set a priority on it. I just set a, a due date of today. So now it's under today, go grocery shopping. But let's say, Maybe, maybe it's urgent. I mean, maybe we've got to get there now. So let's set it as an orange priority. And then right away it moves up to urgent and important. So one of the other things we can do is we can actually maintain the details of the task while in the Eisenhower matrix. So for go grocery shopping, maybe we have a mental uh, grocery list that we need to add to that task. So I can double click the task. It'll bring up this little uh, task details view. I'm going to make this a checklist and I'm gonna start adding my grocery list. So bread, milk, cereal, and let's say um, bottled water. So now I've added my checklist to my go grocery shopping task while in the Eisenhower matrix. So that's gonna do it for this video. We've taken a quick look at the new Eisenhower matrix functionality within TickTick. We learned how to turn the functionality on. We know how to decipher which tasks are being filtered into which specific quadrant and we know how to maintain our task directly in the Eisenhower matrix view. See you on the next video. Have a good one.